It was February 24th, 2003. It just happened to be the day that we had the worst snowstorm of the year. We were having snow and sleet. I walked to the gym. I did my normal workout routine. I end my workout routine by doing push-ups. I generally do my age in push-ups as, as a finish for the day. I left the gym, and that's the last thing I remember. A friend of mine who was at the gym looked out the window and saw a lump in the snow uh, and thought that somebody's going to try to drive their car over that thing and ruin their car. So he came out to move the snow and found me buried. He hollered for help, and two other people who were at the gym, who I had trained as first responders, came out and stabilized me, called 911, and helped me down till the squad arrived. They got me in, and they stabilized me by paralyzing me. Uh, they were giving me my last rites because at the time I was so combative, they thought I might be stroking out. Uh, they did a CAT scan and they found that I had a major skull fracture, which in itself wasn't a fatal type injury. The problem was the underlying subarachnoid bleeding was the thing they were most concerned about. My wife got there at that time. She said, he won't die because he promised he would never leave me. So consequently, she wanted everything that could be done to be done with me. Um, the emergency physician at that time talked to her and said he has to go to a trauma center. His need is beyond our ability to care for him in this facility. He needs to go to a trauma center. Where would you like him to go? She said, I would like him to go to the valley. Uh, they called the valley for the med for care flight. Care flight couldn't come because of the snow. Their mobile ICU, their MICU, uh, was limited to the city of Dayton at that time because the roads were so bad. The interstates were closed. They had to get permission to go through each of the counties on the interstate. And the counties provided police escort, I understand, for them to get through band. It took them over two hours to get there uh, to take what would normally be a 30-minute trip. They brought me back to the valley. They got me in the trauma room, and they stabilized me, and they admitted me to the uh, ICU. So I was in a coma, I understand, for 12 days. I got wonderful care. The, the, the people who cared for me, and I get this from my wife and my children, how good the care was and how compassionate they were and how careful they were with everything they did. And uh, I was determined that, that this was all a gift from God and the people who God sent to take care of me, including the fire department and the hospital here in, at Miami Valley. We're very grateful for the fact that we have a care flight now stationed in Urbana and we just have better facilities, we have better training, we have better trauma centers to go to. And having Miami Valley here has been just a, a real godsend to us in Urbana.